one adult ticket, 300 yen. You're gonna try and steal something, aren't you? Today we're heading to Miyajima and we're starting our journey from our hotel, the Hotel Sunroot, and the staff were kind enough to give us a guide on how to get to Miyajima, which had a few different options. We have chosen tram and the JR train today. We'll be taking a five minute walk to the Chuden Mai tram stop and we'll be catching tram number three to Nishi Hiroshima. This is obviously going to be different depending on where you're staying. This particular part of the journey costs about 180 yen and should take approximately 26 minutes. Now once you've made your tram journey to Nishi Hiroshima transfer stop, you want to just walk a couple of meters across the road to JR Nishi Hiroshima station. From there you will take the JR Sanyo line to Iwakuni which is approximately a 22 minute ride at 320 yen and you will travel to JR Miyajima Gucci station. Once you arrive it's a brief walk in the underground system to Miyajima Gucci ferry terminal. This just stops traffic congestion up above. You can follow the crowd or there is signage everywhere so you can easily see where you need to go. Once you arrive to the ferry terminal, you can either purchase your tickets there for the ferry or if you have a JR pass, you can absolutely use that and it will cover you for your entire ferry journey there and back. It is only a 10 minute ferry ride. It is very brief so I do recommend getting a really good spot up on the top of the deck and just taking the views on the way to Miyajima. a 10 minute ferry ride it's really quick I was actually saying how beautiful the mountains were and the island I was looking at I actually thought that was um, the Hiroshima mainland and I was actually already staring at Miyajima that's how close it is so uh, but yeah I'm gonna walk around and check it out so let's go see
there's plenty of little side streets, alleyways, shops and food stalls to explore on Miyajima. So definitely take the time to have a wander around. And if you're interested, you can also stay on Miyajima, though this can become quite pricey. I love the tanuki. This particular restaurant has hit headlines recently because of what's now known as the Yakuza Deer. They frequent the front of this particular restaurant, apparently harassing the owner, but I do think they are on pretty friendly terms because there are pictures of the owner feeding the deer and giving them a scratch on the head. Suddenly, really, really, really hot. It was muggy before, but now it's hot. We're just walking down. Go and see the big red gate, Tory gate. It's low tide, so we're actually able to walk out to the gate. So I'm pretty excited. You'll have to mind my dorky $2 Daiso hat. It's the only hat I could find so I could still get my hair off. Watch your step here too because there's a few little holes and things where you can step in so the scale of this in person is huge. It's probably not doing it any justice on camera. But wow. And apparently one of the big things tourists are doing to this beautiful gate and destroying it is putting coins in the little gaps in the in the wood. Let's go up and have a closer look. Oh yeah, I can already see the coins. Please don't do that, seriously. So here's the problem right here. See that right there? Don't do that. So you can see guys, the coins are just everywhere. So people obviously see it think that's the thing to do it's good luck or something but it's actually destroying this beautiful Tory gate to enter the main temple one adult ticket 300 yen so for the two of us it was only 600 yen
I finally got my very own Goshwin and I'm so happy I got it here at Miyajima. I love it here. It's just beautiful. A um, little bit of a language barrier that I got by. Yeah, but got my Goshwin. One happy girl. And it's actually really reasonably priced. I know these can go upwards of uh, like $20 or so. This one was $10 and it's got a beautiful um, embroidery of Miyajima on the cover. The actual Goshwin cost uh, 300 yen I believe so all up 13,000 uh, yen so about 13 American dollars but yeah I think it's definitely well worth it so happy so this is my beautiful Goshuan with its stamp and inking inside uh, he's also put a, um, a bit of pla uh, plain paper in there as well just so it doesn't leak onto the other pages so yeah happy days even the restrooms Stick to the aesthetic. <laughs> Amazing. to Miyajima you have to go up these little side alleyways because they are just stunning and I've just taken some footage inside this building here to my right um, it's like a omiyagi gift souvenir store and they have the most beautiful you'll see it I'll chuck that footage in the most beautiful traditional Japanese garden with some koi fish and they are huge they are the biggest like carp I've ever seen uh, but honestly worth popping in here just to see the garden alone but honestly check out these little side streets because every corner you turn here there's a surprise it's just beautiful i love it i love miyajima and everyone's so friendly Miyajima, this is the main strip where all the food is. You can smell everything, you can smell oysters and the Miji and everything tasty and I'm excited. Oh, let's go do it. Yeah.
Okay. So we've got Meiji, which is manju flavoured, so it's in a traditional Japanese maple leaf. Manju flavour, so it's a red bean flavour. So that's the original. This is the original. Hopefully the best. I'm excited to try this. this one of the main things I wanted to do in Hiroshima. Meiji. Ooh, real hot. Ooh, it's nice. Really soft. See that? I thought it would like be like crunchy on the outside, but it's soft all the way through. It's almost the same texture all the way through. Really cool. Mmm. It's really sweet, tasty, but meaty. Mmm. So the paste is like, the red bean paste is super smooth and tasty and sweet. It's been ground down to a paste to make it super, super smooth. And it, the texture just the whole way through is just really nice. Beautiful, delicious. All right, now I've got some emoji cake. So this one's soft. Packaged it up for me, I felt really bad because I'm gonna smash it straight away, but it's in a little package, so I'm getting fresh off the press. Yeah, can you see how squishy that is? So this is like a Momoji cake. Momiji. Momiji. Mmm. <laughs> Custard. Ooh, it's like cake, this one. Mmm. Uh, that one was only 90 yen, so this one is really cheap. 100% you got to try that one. Custard, cream, mimoji cake. fried fish cake. I didn't know anything about these until I came here. I'm walking around, I've seen a few shops with them. So I've got to try one. Mm. Oh, it just tastes like a fish cake. Mm. Definitely try it if you come here. About 300 yen. Definitely well worth it. I've already had a few bites of this size, but 300 yen. This one's made with burdock fish. Look, it's got, uh, um, it's got carrot in it. Mmm. Really nice. Mm. Got sembei here, which is a fish cracker. This one's octopus made right here in the shop. Mm. Ah. I've got a senbei cracker, which is on my list of things to try. This one is just sugar. It's just sugar coated on the top. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to bite into. It's good. 
Mmm. You can tell it's fresh from the pump. It's delicious. From the quaint side streets, beautiful shrines and the variety of gift shops, food stalls and restaurants, Miyajima has no doubt become one of my favourite places in all of Japan with plenty to offer. Definitely don't pass up an opportunity to visit this beautiful island if you're in Hiroshima. After a long day exploring the island in the summer heat, we were glad to finally sit in the aircon cabin of the ferry on the return ride back. It was a long video, but I hope you enjoyed a look at our time on Miyajima. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>